Oh, yes, indeedy. It's your boy, Mr. Movie X Kicks. And as you guys know, I am a movie lover, shoe lover, and also a video game enthusiast. Now, as you guys know, I, from time to time, I do these unboxings. So this is the new uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare uh, edition coming up right after this. Now we have here the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare Dark Edition. Now this is the latest installment of the Modern Warfare uh, franchise series, uh, which started back in 07. Um, it has spawned um, four different um, four different uh, sequels. Um, the latest edition, Modern Warfare Dark Edition, coming out um, today. Um, I don't really like first person shooters that much. I'm not a huge first person shooter. I'm more of a uh, um, uh, Third, I'm more of a third person type of game. Like I like the Grand Theft Auto style, the the Red Dead Redemption. Those are like kind of my ideal type of games. But Modern Warfare is kind of like those one of those games I kind of always generally have to get just because the the storylines are always so crisp and the graphics are ridiculous. Every every game that comes out, it, it just gets better and better and better. The graphics are starting to be more realistic, where you can't even you know uh, di see the difference between real or fake. You like. Damn, this is a video game, right? And so that's, a, I think, another lot of thing that people love from this Modern Warfare uh, franchise is that they've, they've continued to evolve. Now, some, they've gone into the future, and some have gone back into the past. This one, if I'm not mistaken, is more into the present. So. Oh. As we see, we get the video game in a steel book as you can see oh this is dope i love steel books and i especially love all the special edition ones that I, I usually get as you can see i got kratos back here that came in a special edition for god of war which i never finished i have a i have a history of basically starting games and never finishing them i know it's bad i'm a bad video gamer but and then you also get oh you get the instructions because these uh come with the night vision goggles Ooh, that's, I'm, I'm excited now. <laughs> this was a $200 set. So these night vision goggles are real as fuck. I just love that. They got the modern warfare in them. Wow. This is crazy. game with these on that would be cool <laughs> damn these are these are crazy uh, just to let you guys know um as i previously stated this edition was two hundred dollars um now the reason why it was so expensive is because these are i think real night vision goggles so uh it has this instruction booklet on how to adjust the left yeah these are real deal so I didn't know to the level of what I was getting into, because Lord knows I hate instruction. Um, yeah, I, I thought there was going to be a little more in here, but apparently not. It's just actually with the night vision goggles and the still book casing. Now, I am going to, I guess, try to put all this stuff together. And also, I'm going to play a little bit of the game. And I'm going to try to give you guys a review of the synopsis of the game, storyline, what everything is about. Um, I haven't been, like, I don't too much like to read in detail what most games are about um, until I actually play them. Unlike movies and stuff, it's, it's different for trailers. But for me, for movie trailers and movies I go to go see, I want to know what the movie's about. But as far as the games and everything like that, it's different. Like, I like to... Kind of, I saw the trailer. I saw a couple trailers of the Modern Warfare, but only the ones on TV. The ones like thirty seconds, and I see like a guy with a big thick beard, like kind of almost like an English accent. Um, that's pretty much all. I'm like, I don't know the premise of any characters. What this has to center deal? How, how this has to? What the storyline centers around or anything like that? So, but as always, I mean, Modern Warfare always brings it. Like the graphics are always amazing. As I said, the storyline is generally usually good, and the action in the game always is kind of like heart pounding. You know, you always on the edge of your seat. So that's kind of what I love about the Modern Warfare and Call of Duty series. And I think this one is set in present day, if I'm not mistaken, as well. 
So, you know, with that further ado, I'm going to go ahead and um, try to put this stuff together. And I'm going to pop this in because I know it's going to have to take forever to uh, up, upload. As I always, guys, drop me some comments. Let me know, have you gotten this Modern Warfare? Are you a gamer? Uh, are people going to say, put your gamer tags. I usually don't play online. I know, I know I'm lame. But I just, I always like playing story modes, and that's pretty much it. So, but uh, let me know, are you guys a big Modern Warfare uh, type fans? Are you getting this game? Have you got this game? Drop me some comments once you guys either get it or play it and let me know what you think about it. Do you think this is the one of the best Modern Warfare's of all of them or what? So drop me some comments. Let me know what you guys think about this game. And uh, Mr. Movie X is out. Until next time, I'll holler you guys later. I'm about to go play this bad boy. I'm about to be on this. So oh. quick update. I actually uh, found, found out how to turn everything on and i thought it needed batteries but it actually already comes charged and it comes with this actually comes with this charger right here i'm not 100 percent sure on where it goes but these actually come charged so these actually do are already good to go to work so here is the final product with the case the modern warfare as you can see uh you have to excuse the mess i opened up these batteries and put them in there and they are so old they just turn to dust so that's why it's dirty um but he... <laughs> so here is the case with everything on it so <laughs> oh man these things are crazy damn i'm gonna play the game like this tonight <laughs> <laughs>